Hey guys, welcome to Iron Reviews, the show where I bring you Marvel and DC content twice a week, and today we review The Flash, Issue 9. The con begins in Central City, where we see The Flash and Kid Flash handling with a burning bridge. And before I continue this review, can I just say the art in this book just seems weird? I mean, it's okay, it just makes some of the facial expressions look weird, but that's all, I'll just save the rest for the end. So, while evacuating the civilians out of the way, a burning car explodes near Wally, but before he can get hit, he's saved by Old Wally, aka the Other Flash. Yeah, I don't want to confuse you guys, so I'm just going to call Wally who's the Flash, Old Wally, and Wally who's Kid Flash, New Wally, so you guys don't get confused who I'm talking about. But back to the story again, as the heroes finish up cleaning the area, New Wally's confused of who this guy is and how he slowed that explosion down, and New Wally just thinks they may be one of the civilians who was affected by the Speed Force storm. Barry comes over to explain to New Wally that this Speedster is actually a close friend of his, and Old Wally tells New Wally that he can just call him the Flash. There's even kind of a funny line where New Wally's just confused how there can be two Flashes, and he doesn't know the half of it. I mean, if you count Jay Garrick and maybe Max Mercury and the other Speedsters, yeah, I can see why New Wally's confused about this. Barry also explains they actually trained this Speedster as well, but New Wally's still confused of why this guy's here. Old Wally just tells both Speedsters they just came here to inform Flash of what he was doing here, and both Wally shake hands and something strange happens. Apparently Barry's powers are acting up and he starts to freak out, well his powers start to freak out and he starts having visions and acting weird. New Wally tries to help Barry but his lightning actually burns Wally, and that's when Barry starts to act weirder, saying what's the point, why do we dress up saving people, what's the point of life, life is just a joke, basically saying most of the lines anti-heroes say. But that's not all of it, Barry tells both the Wallys that they don't understand what he goes through, and while his parents were taken away from him, their parents just abandoned them. He even tells New Wally that his father would rather call himself Uncle. Yeah, apparently New Wally's dad was the New 52 version of Reverse Flash. And what a way to find out, am I right? Old Wally sees that Barry's acting strange and tells him to stop, but that's when Barry gets on Old Wally's case, saying, Oh, you think you have what it takes to be me? I have no legacy. I'm the Flash. You aren't. This keeps getting worse as we see Barry's powers getting more and more haywire, and Old Wally explains to New Wally that he's actually seen this before. Old Wally explains to New Wally that he sees that Barry's being pulled into the Speed Force, and they need to figure out a way to stop it. Both heroes try to figure out how to save Barry, and they think, hey, what if they just pull Barry out using their powers at once? And they do, and it works. Barry gets pulled out, and everything seems to be going back to normal. Oh yeah, except for New Wally finding out his dad was his uncle. Yeah, as soon as Barry gets back together, that's when New Wally immediately asks about his uncle Daniel and asks if what Barry said was true. Barry tries to explain that he only found out the first time when Daniel was arrested, but New Wally doesn't want to hear it and just runs off, and as Barry tries to run after him, Old Wally just tells Barry to just give him time to think over what happened. As New Wally runs away, he thinks that yeah, he knows the Flash was acting weird and didn't mean to say that, but New Wally's actually wondering why Daniel left him, and New Wally even even thinks if maybe he's one of the reasons his uncle, father, dad, whatever you want to call him, became the Reverse Flash. But while he thinks this, he meets up with one of his friends, and his friend sees that he's sad and even tries to hear him up for Halloween, but New Wally sees someone else calling out to him and walks away. Old Wally asks if he knows him, and New Wally actually knows that's the other Flash, and that reason is because of the hair. Now Old Wally's actually here to check up on New Wally and ask him about his uncle, and what happens here here is actually a pretty nice moment as we see New Wally explain that he'd always idolized Daniel as a hero, but when he became the Reverse Flash and found out he's his dad, he's wondering why he would just deny him like that. Old Wally actually knows what New Wally's going through, as we even see Old Wally talking about his parents and telling the New Wally that his parents would always fight a lot, even though they still loved him, he felt rejected and denied. Old Wally explains to New Wally that the Flash always taught him to just believe in yourself and tells Wally that he's not not alone. He's always not alone. Later we check on Old Wally and Barry discussing about why Old Wally's here, and Old Wally explains that the only reason he's here is because of Abracadabra. As we find out, Old Wally explains to Barry that Abracadabra was the reason he was forgotten from history, but not the reason that history itself was changed all around. But Flash just tells him that hey, magicians always have a lot of tricks, but when they mess up, that's called a Flash. Now the comic actually ends on an interesting 
coming out, and I don't really want to spoil it, so I suggest reading this issue first and then come back to this part of the review, or if you're still here and want to see it, well, let's just continue, shall we? So the comic ends with Barry informing Old Wally that when Old Wally and New Wally met, and when they saved him from the Speed Force, there was one last vision he had, and that vision, strangely enough, gave him hope. And that vision was a vision of Jay Garrick's helmet. Yeah, not the Earth 2 New 52 Jay Garrick, but like the original Jay Garrick helmet. Moment, and that makes me really excited, and that's where the comic ends. The Flash issue 9 was a nice one-shot issue that did a lot of things great. First of all, this was the first meeting of both Wallys, and I was really wondering how they were going to do this, but they did it good. I mean, it wasn't just old Wally Flash saying, hey, they're related and family. No, it was just them meeting, and later in the issue, having a nice moment comparing their past history. Although this was great, I did feel some parts were a little rushed, and what do I mean by that? Well, when the characters are talking about one thing at first and then just completely move on to a different subject, leaving the past subject for later. The art in this book wasn't the best either, I mean it was okay, but like I said earlier, some parts of it were weird and most of the facial expressions just look really weird, but overall this was a great issue and that ending with Jay Garrick's helmet was the best, it makes me wonder if we'll see Jay Garrick in the upcoming Justice Society book. But yeah, overall great issue with good art and great story. I think I would give this a 7.5 out of 10 and highly recommend this. Hey guys, thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Iron Reviews and check out my Twitter at IronHulk018. My name's August and until then.